feels good it's been a long time i was waiting all winter for the temperature to calm down for me to get back on my running used to do it last summer almost every day now i'm back to it completely back to it yeah i think this is probably the nicest day we've had <sighs> look at this look how beautiful it is what's up guys welcome back to the vlog yeah today i got some stuff to do picked up some uh, nice booster juice we're gonna go check out the volkswagen gti the last generation apparently the dealership has a really special color that yeah everyone's been wanting but <clears throat> can't really get their hands on it's the only standard one they have on their lot so come with me what's up guys i'm at volkswagen taylor creek doing a quick review of the 2021 volkswagen gti this car is called cornflower blue and this is the autobahn package so the main subject of this video this 2021 should you get the mark 7 the latest generation or wait for the mark 8 that's coming out in 2022 well 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 you guys got some uh, decisions to make right So inside the Golf GTI, I mean, all you guys, uh, a lot of you guys are probably already used to this, you know. Your cup holders. This one has the smoking package, smokers package. Um, good old uh, e-brake, obviously. Plenty of room in the car. I'm a family guy, so it's uh, this is the type of car I would get, definitely, with the sunroof. Yeah, if I would get a, a GTI, this is definitely the package I would get. I'm pretty sure uh, this generation's GTI has 228 horsepower and 258 torque, so uh, plenty ponies, uh, plenty ponies for you guys out there. And also, I wanted to give you guys a quick uh, little history about uh, the GTI. The GTI already originally got manufactured in um, 74, got revealed in 75, and the first Mark One was uh, the first GTI Mark One was um, launched in 76, and ever since then, like I mean, it's been uh, it's been selling like hotcakes. To be honest, it's uh, it's been the pinnacle of uh, hatchback especially performance hatchback um, and not many cars can really tackle that to be honest it's uh, back in the 90s I think uh, the Civic used to be a hatchback and it was a pretty cool hatchback but yeah the Civic's not really a hatchback anymore so that's exactly what I'm saying it's a uh, DTI is really uh, the top one um, with its older brother um, Golf R um, and this generation, I'm pretty sure it started in uh, 2013. Um, it was the first generation to be launched in two versions, a basic version and also and also a uh, performance version. I'll turn on the car so you guys can hear what it sounds like. We're gonna do a little cold start. Shout out to Taylor Creek for uh, letting me do this video. 
just a short review. It's not going to be completely detailed because there's many videos on the internet about it, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't forget, it's Volkswagen that started this whole uh, hatchback uh, trend, right? Ever since I was young, back in high school, I always wanted to get one of those cars. Just like I said for the STI, um, it was always a car that was kind of like out of my range. And um, I don't think they came automatic in the past. Correct me if I'm wrong. I was never super confident about, um, yeah, driving standard, you know, scared to uh, break something. What's up guys, back at home. I know it was a short vlog for today, but there's gonna be plenty more to come. So stay tuned, peace.